everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome in today's video we are doing august 2020 pick a card reading which blows my mind that we're going into august june flew by july is flying by and i can only imagine how fast august is going to be and before you know it it's going to be september what is going on if you're new here welcome to my channel i hope you guys are having an amazing day we have four different piles today with four different crystals to choose from if you want to choose with crystals. We have a big chunk full of cards for you today. I was very generous. We have a lot in here. You're going to find out a lot of information today. We have archangels coming in. We have angel messages coming in. We have goddess cards coming in, tarot. We have money affirmation cards. We have other healing messages and affirmations as well as your spirit animal. So a chunk full of cards in each pile. You're gonna get lots of messages. So get a journal, piece of paper, or write in the notes of your phone, unless you're watching from your phone, but write in the notes of your phone important messages that you need to do. Cause these are intuitive readings and I give you spiritual tools to take home with you to help you spiritually grow, evolve, spiritual blessings, healing messages, all the above. All of it is going to be medicine for you. So let's find out this August 2020, what is coming for you. Let's dive into our pile selection and I'll see you guys in your reading. Bye. Here is a quick rundown of the card selection. We have pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, and pile number four. Pause the reading to connect and really take a few breaths and connect with your intuition to choose the right pile for you. All the timestamps will be in the comment section and the description box down below. If you would like to choose with crystals, I'm going to be putting them on right now. Hello everyone, if you wanna pick with a crystal, we have pile number one with black tourmaline, pile number two with fluorite, pile number three with citrine, and pile number four with amethyst. All the timestamps will be in the description and the comment section down below. See you in your reading. Hello, pile number one. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Welcome to your August 2020 pick a card reading. If you picked a crystal, you picked black tourmaline. So let's get right into what is coming for you this August, which is very juicy so far. You have a lot of new beginnings coming for you in August, and I just don't say that, but you got three ones in this reading, one, 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 which means like ultra beginnings, destiny, new, like really new success coming your way in the month of August. And then we also have the number four because I also give you numerology and number four is a very stable foundation number. It's about your being stable in your family, stable in your business. You have it all. I see that you have it all. Emotionally, your cup is gonna be filled up in the month of August. The first card that we have here is the Four of Wands, and this is such a beautiful foundation and achievement card. This is family life, being comfortable and having a really stable family life. Financially, everything is okay. It's going to be okay in the month of August if it is not okay right now. But this is a beautiful card. As you can see, it's this a three family member family looking at a house so maybe you are buying a house you're moving in this is a good month for you in the month of august maybe you're looking to get a family maybe you're growing your family maybe you're married and you're growing your family you're going to succeed in that you might have a pregnancy next month as well this card interprets into different things for different people because different people are watching correct it's a general reading right all right Okay, since we established that, this also can represent that you meet your true love, your soulmate. You're going to meet the one that you're meant to be with, singles. All my singles out there, you're going to meet someone. You're going to meet someone that you marry, that you build a family with, all the above. We have the rainbow's promise right here, the rainbow. You have a double rainbow, guys, but we'll get into this card in a minute. You have a double rainbow, so your wishes are coming true in the month of August. And I do feel this is surrounded by family, oriented with family. You might be someone who is really family oriented. I'm sensing you might be a cancer sign or have cancer in your birth chart. That doesn't matter. This could be for one person specifically if you're not a cancer sign. 
but that is just what's coming through. But we have achievement here. You're just gonna be really successful in the month of August. So ride that wave, ride that rainbow. You have wishes coming true for you. In the month of August, pile number one in the month of August, you're gonna have so much luck. Good fortune, luck is on your side. And just alone with this card, it says that, but your whole four tarot, your four tarot cards are beautiful and they all implement exactly what I just said. You have so much choices, so much opportunities coming and knocking at your door. So be open, be open in the month of August because luck is on your side, good fortune is on your side. The next card we have is a Major Arcana card. Major Arcana cards are big events that are happening in our life. And you have, my friend, the Destiny card, which is the Wheel of Fortune in the Tarot, which means good fortune, good luck. Luck is on your side. I cannot, you know, say this enough because this is so exciting. As you can see, the big smile on my face. But you have the Destiny card, which is the number of 10. And 1 plus 0 equals 1 in numerology, which is new beginnings. And you have 1-1 one, one here. 1-1-1, one, 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 all new beginnings. All new beginnings. So again, to reiterate this card, you might be buying land, buying a house, going in marriage, you know, having a pregnancy. Something huge is coming in the month of August. I don't sense too much pregnancy, but new beginnings are happening. Maybe you are pregnant and you're getting a home, a bigger home, but different things like that. But you have success, my friend. And then you have a destiny card, which th th these two cards alone are just so magical. I'm just so happy for you guys because you have wishes coming true. You have luck on your side. You're reaping the reward. You, all the hard work that you've done has paid off. And then we have one of, of cups which also means, you know, the Ace of Cups, love begins. You have two aces here. So the aces in the tarot cards means new beginnings and the aces are really the greatest cards to get in the tarot deck. So you have love begins again. Some of you are getting married, you're getting into a new relationship with, and this person is your soulmate and they're going to be a person that you marry and have kids with and you're gonna build a family. It's the start of something new. And just look, your cup is going to be overflowing in the month of August. And then we have, again, another rainbow. So you have a double rainbow, which means to me, you are you probably have multiple things, positive and luck and fortune happening for you. It's not going to just be one thing that happens for you in the month of August. And I really see that. And I feel that you are going to really find a, if those of you who are, are getting a new home, it's going to be more in the countryside, nature connected to like a river or water. You're just really gonna be connected in this new home and then love beginnings. You have two hands here. New love is coming. For those of you who are single or just got out of a relationship, new love is coming. And that's what this card is saying. And this is your foundation card. So right away, your foundation is, is solid. You are stable in the month of August. And then we have the Ace of Swords which is triumph success. So you have two aces here, and then you have three ones, one, 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 which is a synchronic number. It is a very powerful angel number. Your angel's spirit is with you, and this is represents, you know, spirit card. It represents the wands. Wands represent like spiritual connection. So spirit is definitely with you, and the universe is with you and everything you're just in alignment that is exactly what i needed to say then we have triumph and success mentally emotionally you are strong physically you are strong financially you're strong every category is strong and you're just moving forward with with a bright future in the month of august and when you see a blade a blade is a double-edged sword this is represents a double-edged sword the ace of swords it means that nothing holds you back. You can you can cut through everything. And that these are really this is a really powerful four cards in general and that alone I'd be like, "Okay, August is great, but you have so much more cards to dig into." So let's dive in. Okay, we have break the chain. I feel that you've done the healing work and you're break the chain, the generational chains, everything that you were meant to do. You've broken ancestral patterns 
in order to get you here. Recognize that you've done the healing work and maybe you're not aware of it or not, but you've done the work and you've healed, whether it was through therapy or self-healing. You've done the work and the, the universe is recognizing that and it's reaping the rewards for you and you've healed and maybe you might have some extra healing to do and you always do but you're at the point of your life you're so positive and joyful and if you're not august you're going to feel so positive and joyful so many opportunities are coming for you and you're rewriting the future so make sure to stay in that lane make sure to stay in that wave ride the wave and make sure when you jump off when you take steps back Remember, you take more steps forward. So if you ever need to, you know, check yourself, get the healing, just rewrite your future. Do what you've been doing. And always know that there's going to be some patterns that you have to work on from time to time. There will be setbacks. Again, the double-edged sword also represents having, you know, some setbacks. But this is the Ace of Wands. I mean, the Ace of Swords. So it just always means new beginnings and good things, unless it's like in the room. Reversal and reversals just mean that something has changed, but I just feel that you've you're walking away from Generational patterns from these heavy patterns or maybe it's just toxic patterns within yourself Maybe they have nothing to do with your generation But I do feel because there's a bunch of people here that it is Generational, but either way you're walking away from this you've done the healing so affirm that and really know that you did that as well in the month of August because there's so much opportunity and so much uh, fortune coming your way. Star mother, how can you mother yourself? Maybe you're taking care of everybody else, your family members or you know your immediate family or your big family, you know, non-immediate family. How can you mother yourself? How can you step in in the month of August to take care of yourself, especially if you're moving and you know getting in a new relationship or marriage things can be crazy right but how can you mother yourself how can you give yourself self-care a little bit each day so that you're not so like crazy in the chaos of everything so that you can also you know appreciate everything in the moment but these are really really great cards then we're going to look at your three angel cards here we have isaiah astara and seraphina Isaiah says it's a good time. It's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. This confirms everything that I just said because of new ideas, new beginnings, 111. Write that down. New ideas and situations in life. I'm watching over you, guiding you, and protecting you during these changes. Know that you're being protected. Call on Angel Isaiah or your loved ones. They are protecting you at this time. Take this leap of faith and take the risk because luck is on your side. You have the wheel of fortune, you have luck on your side. Then we have Astara, which is a beautiful card. She says, you deserve the best. Reach for the stars and your dreams and desires and don't compromise. Dreams again are coming true and this is also what this card represents, what this card represents and what this card represents. That, all three cards re represent that you deserve it. So know that you deserve it. You might fall short and that's where you step in to mother yourself and ground yourself and know you might be like, this is too good, to, too good to be true. This is too happy. No, accept it. Be in it. Be in the present moment. Don't get lost in your mental thoughts and your beliefs because you will have that belief system that you're used to, you know, like you will have that belief system that you're not good enough. You don't deserve it, but you do deserve it. You deserve it. You've been doing the hard work. I'm here telling you that you've been doing the work. And the cards are also representing all these beautiful blessings that's coming your way. Then we have Serafina, which she's the angel of family. And she goes, I'm the angel of families. A happy or addition is coming to your family. These cards are so, so connected. How beautiful is that? This change is coming. And no, also that change also, nothing is fully green, right? There are bittersweet things in life. So you might be letting go of something that you're gonna miss and that you're sad about and that's okay. That does, that's, just means you're human. But also acknowledge how far you came to get to this point, how far it's taking you to get to this point. 
and know that you're doing this for your family but as well for yourself and your angels are just confirming that let's look who are your goddess cards we have a star which is boundaries so make sure to keep your boundaries in check and don't compromise like a star says don't let anybody push your boundaries because you're stepping into a new phase in your life you're you know creating something new you might you know people might not like it you might lose friends out of it or a relationship it just is what happens but those people no longer ser serve you and they if they can't if they can only hand it you in your sad times or when you're not doing well and they can't handle you in your blessings in your achievements then they're not your true friend so really let that sink sink into your subconscious mind but this card says love yourself enough to say no to other demands on your time and energy so also in the month of august put yourself first a little bit because we have boundaries and star mother and astara saying you know don't compromise Go full force, force, 100%. Double rainbow, you got God's promise at the end of the rainbow, good luck. Then we have Coventina goddess, which she's the purification goddess. And this is, this whole situation, this moving forward, where, whatever the situation is, moving in a new house, marriage, a new family member, a wedding, it's time for you to detox and cleanse and purify. This is a very purifying time for you. So, you know, at the same time, cleanse your body and mind. But I feel this is, I feel this is already going to happen naturally. And it's not going to need too much effort from you. And look, she has a rainbow, guys. So you have three rainbows so far. I wonder if any more will pop up. Three rainbows. So things come in three, right? We have one, one, one. And then the three rainbows here because she's wearing a rainbow you know skirt of water I don't know how else you would describe that and then she also has a cup in her hand so you're just gonna be overflowing with joy and she's holding a dove doves represent love okay let's dive in into your next two cards which are going to be your Archangel cards beloved one you have Archangel Kamel and he is saying I'm helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship bless this card those of you are gonna meet your relationship soulmate in the month of August so call on this Archangel to help you out but he's already helping you then you have Archangel Azrael hello from heaven your loved ones in heaven are doing fine let go of worries and feel their loving blessings so if there's anyone that you've had a past loss of a loved one they're here supporting you they're cheering you on they're your cheerleaders and they're telling you don't worry about me I'm doing okay and that will re resonate for some of you not all of you and then we have your spirit animal which is beautiful we have the unicorn which the element rep represents spirit this is a very spiritual time for you spirit is with you your spirit guides are with you your angels are with you, archangels, the universe, they are supporting you 100%. They are your cheerleaders right now. So let them cheer for you and let me cheer for you. The unicorn represents imagination. The unicorn also represents not believing something is real. Really know that you deserve to have this and that your dreams can come true. Because, you know, the unicorns, they're mystical, they're magical, people don't believe in them. They are real and they're here to tell you that magic is real and you deserve this. And that's a, just a great confirmation card to end your spread of cards to just know to believe in yourself and believe that you deserve it. This is a beautiful reading. Okay, so let's get into your money manif manifestations. We have... We are each responsible for the thoughts that we think. When you're in alignment with who you really are, you cannot help but uplift those with whom you come in con contact with. Your value to those around you hinges upon only one thing, your personal alignment with source. And that really connects with boundaries, right? So when you, ha when you create boundaries, you come into alignment with who you really are, but as well, it shows you the people who truly value for who you are and respect your boundaries. And the only thing to do to give to another is an example of an alignment which others may observe, then desire and work to achieve, but you cannot give it to them. 
everyone is responsible for their thoughts that they think and the things that they choose as their objects of attention. Then we have the better my story gets, the better my life gets. So really, you know, focus on your story and rewriting your future. Begin telling the story of desire of your desires and then add it to the details of the positive aspects that you can find to match those desires. You can find that match those desires and then embellish your positive expectations by speculating with your good feeling wouldn't it be nice examples you could say things like only good things come to me and i'll figure it out as i go along every time you tell your better feeling story you will feel better and the details of your life will improve the better it gets the better it gets okay we have your last four cards which are just healing messages positive words that you can write down and really surround yourself with okay the first one is what do you love what do you love focus on what you love and this is where you know that compromise comes in focus on only what you love and not what other people love because what you love is what makes you truly happy and joyful inside so really just speak your truth speak your truth and work with that throat chakra communication that is one of your spiritual homework tools to do is to do some throat chakra work and really speak your truth and be authentic the next card that we have is play make sure to have fun and then we also have number two here we have number five here which the communication for you is really going to change your relationships and then we have number two here which represents partnership and re relationships so make sure to have fun and be playful with yourself and with others make sure to have fun then stay in your own skin which I just said before being authentic how can you mother yourself how can you stay true to yourself and really just stay in your own skin and not letting anybody cross your boundaries and tell you anything different you are really really a wise person you're super wise and you just have a lot you know a lot of intelligence and wisdom then we have meditate which is your last card and it's number four which is really going to help you feel grounded and building that foundation even deeper and it is to meditate and it's just really going to help you stay more um, open and more wise so really a meditate on things as well so that is your reading your homework is just simply to play enjoy life and as well work with your throat chakra that is your homework and to believe in yourself use those spiritual tools I feel that purification is already happening naturally for you in the month of August and those of you who picked a crystal you picked black tourmaline and black tourmaline is a really great stone to hold in your pocket you know to keep those boundaries and to keep you know negative people around you to secure your energy and to this also will help you feel really grounded it's a grounding stone anything like in the red colors black colors any earthy tone colors they usually resonate with you know grounding the root chakra and the earth in general the earth chakra which is like the bottom of your feet but yes get black tourmaline to really ground you and absorb any of that low vibrating energy that is your reading i hope you enjoyed it hit that like button if you did and also leave down any comments down below if you're excited what this means for you I would love to know any insights that you have. Subscribe to my channel and hang out with me weekly. I upload weekly. Hit that notification bell to keep up with me. And I'm going to head over to pile number two. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Stay gold. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. Namaste. The light in me honors the light in you. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Hello, pile number two, and welcome to your August 2020 pick a card reading. Let's dive in, find out what August has in store for you. If you picked a crystal, you picked this beautiful fluorite, and we'll talk about that at the end. So right away, what I see for you guys is that you really need to, already I'm going to give you spiritual homework, you really need to get grounded in your root chakra in the month of August. You need to get grounded because you're feeling unsafe. There's a lot of challenges and obstacles 
and coming your way or not necessarily coming your way in August because there is opportunity that is there in August but you might be blocking yourself in order to seeing those opportunities and success so you really need to get grounded because it has to do the root chakra has to do with our survival with our money maybe you're having financial issues and like physical our you know our physical being you need to get moving around in the month of August so you need to do yoga dance you need to get moving because there's a lot of stagnant energy that you're, you're just in kind of like a void you're in stagnant energy nothing seems to really be moving but in a way you're kind of blocking yourself as well because you've been so stagnant so long that you're used to it so you kind of need to get out of your own way in the month of August because there are opportunities coming full speed ahead your way in the month of August but you have to also do some work in order to get out of your own way because the first card we have is the number five this is the five of wands and it represents obstacles and challenges I feel that you might be fighting against yourself in the month of August or like at this moment when you're reading the, watching this reading that you've just been fighting against yourself and there's just been a lot of challenges and obstacles for you and you need to start seeing those obstacles and challenges as solutions or finding solutions versus, versus seeing them as problems. And I do feel that you're going to have a lot of change in the month of August. Things are going to change. You're going to, you know, break a tie, but there is a block here. And if you can see, he's trying to cross the bridge, but there's a block, so there's no way to cross over. Find out, let's go deeper into the reading, but we'll see what the block is. It might be um, something emotional, but we'll see what else comes forward into the reading. But I do feel that you are being guided at this time. And then the next card we have is seven, which is a very spiritual number, as I always say. It's a very analytical number. We have choose wisely. So I do feel that, because the next card we have is eight of accelerating motion, full speed of head. We have seven and eight right next to each other and those are really good numbers. And then we have one. So you have that this, and one represents new beginning. So you have change coming. You're going into like a new direction and this, this change is gonna change quickly and you're gonna be into like a new direction really quickly. So this says choose wisely. So this is the seven of cups and the seven of cups is just all these choices that you have, all these opportunities. Maybe you're thinking about your goals or maybe it's a relationship, whether you should go into it or not, or maybe you're dating multiple people, but there's a, just a lot of mental activity happening and not necessarily like in a bad way, but you're just thinking like there's just a lot of opportunities. There's a lot of different roads or paths that you can go down on and you're looking for answers of where which path you should take that's what I'm getting you're trying to find out which path you should take and essentially you're really only the person that knows the right path for you this reading can help you in finding things that will heal you with your blockages maybe you'll get some insights but overall you are the creator of your destiny at the end of the day so you have to make the choice yourself. You know, take a piece of paper or a journal or a notebook, write down the pros and cons of what it is that, that you're asking about, whether it's love life, a marriage, or a, you know, a business venture or traveling, or maybe it's something for school, any of those, you know, things above. Write the pros and cons and see with your mind's eye and your regular eyes, when you see things on paper, sometimes it gives you a clearer vision. Sometimes it gives you a clear idea of which direction to take. So make multiple pros and cons lists if you have multiple questions, if you're asking about multiple things, and see which is higher, the pros or the cons. If the cons obviously is higher, don't go down that you know path. Don't take that opportunity or just this card just really means to really think about it and really take your time in choosing wisely. Meditate on it. I do feel that for some of you, this might be a relationship because we do have the two birds here in the background, but I do feel that you will have a lot of golden opportunities 
in the month of August, but you need to keep open because you might be having, you know, these challenges and obstacles. This is your foundation card. This was your first card. You might be having a lot of obstacles that you don't even see these opportunities. So keep your eyes open. But once, you know, once you tap into that vibration, once you tap into the universe, you're really gonna accelerate in motion. This is the eight of wands, full speed of head. Everything's gonna go, you know, happen for you fast. Things are gonna unfold for you and good luck is on your side. You do need to know that good luck is on your side because you're having a lot of doubts. And then the next card we have is the base chakra, which I talked about the first, the root chakra, which is all about what I have. I have financial security, survival, you know, stability in your home and your environment. And we have the number one here. So new beginnings, a new path. I feel it's more of a new path or one path that you're gonna choose versus a new beginning. But once you choose that path, it's going to be a new beginning for you. Change, something needs to change within you first in order for things to come to fruition. The next two cards we have is Share Your Voice, Anna, Grandmother, and Jesus. So really open up your voice and communicate. Come out of the cave, persecution, expression. And here, this is right next to obstacles and challenges. So your block is that you're not expressing yourself enough. You're not communicating enough. You're not setting boundaries enough. And that's what this card is saying, that you're staying in your little hermit shelf. You're going to have, you know, shell, this hermit moment. But you need to get out of this hermit moment because, as you see, she's in the cave. She has all these skills and talents. And all this opportunity is sitting in front of her, but she's staying in the cave. She's staying in the shadow. So you need to open up, come out of the shadow, express yourself in however ways that means to you. And then we have Anna, grandmother, and Jesus seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan. Once you get out of this cave, once you step out of these obstacles and challenges and start finding solutions and you make those pros and cons lists and you start seeing, you know, the opportunities in your life, you are going to go like this is part of your divine plan regardless, regardless if you don't do it now or you do it now. This is going to be divine plan. Maybe there's a lesson that you're not learning yet that you have to learn once again. And I feel that lesson just ties into sharing your voice, that you really need to get out of your comfort zone. You need to get out of, you know, your this hermit phase because you've, you've rested, you've reflected, you did the work, you did the healing that you needed and it's time to come out of that cave and it's time to really express yourself and know that you are connected to source and they spirit guides are saying they're ready for you. They're just waiting for you to be ready. So whenever you're ready, no rush. But I feel that in the month of August, something is gonna nip you in the butt and you're gonna be like, ooh, there it is. And that's gonna give you the motivation that you need in order to prepare, pro pro propel you, excuse me, in order to propel you forward. So let's look into your angel cards. We have Desiree, Mystique, and Azor. Azur, I mean. So Desiree says, no conditions are favorable at this time. Right now, wait or look into other options. There you go, choosing wisely. Maybe you think one path at this time is right and you're looking at this, watching this reading for confirmation, but you still need, it, it's not the time. It's time to, you have to wait, choose wisely and look into other options. Ask the angels to help guide you and comfort you. And then we have Mystique and Azur, which is two great combo cards that seems to always come out with each other. They're really good to get together. Keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miracle solutions to appear. Expect miraculous solutions to appear. Expect miracles. This is a unicorn. And a unicorn, you know, people, you know, don't believe in unicorns. They're not real. You need to believe in yourself. You need to believe in your dreams. You need to believe in that you can have a relationship. You need to believe in whatever it is that you're desiring. And then we have Azur. There's a dove in here, so this might, you know, represent love for some of you. But we have, and also there's horses or unicorns in the background as well. It says your desired outcome will come in the very near future. Have patience and faith 
and don't try to force it to happen. That could be where, you know, you have to get grounded with the root chakra as well because you're trying to force things to happen instead of just letting them be and living your life. And that can interfere with things coming your way or opportunities coming your way. The next two cards we have are your goddess cards. You have Yamanaya goddess, which is all about a golden opportunity and she has a dolphin here. So unicorns, dolphins are so far your spirit animals, but she says important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. So you have wait and then you have walk through them. I feel that you know the things that you need to wait on, you know the opportunities to take, but I feel when you get rid of these blockages, that's when you'll know, yes, that's well, you won't be confused and you won't be like, oh, should I go this way or should I go down this path? Should I do this? This golden opportunity, you're gonna, you're gonna know, you're gonna be like, yes, that resonates with me, that vibrates with me. And then we have the goddess White Tara which is all about sensitivity. So you might be an empath or you just might be, you know, sensitive. You might be someone who's really shy. And this says you're becoming increasingly sensitive. Avoid harsh relationships, environment, situation, and chemicals. And this might be why you're coming out of, you know, like you're staying in your cave because you're afraid to attract these low vibrating or harsh energies, sage. You, that's part of your spiritual homework on top of doing the root chakra sage take Epsom salt baths get out in nature find which one works best for you in order for you to really connect and balance yourself get out in nature because you have to do the root chakra work anyway so you know two and one going to, going out into nature two and one going out into nature will help with clearing your energy and as well it's going to connect you with your root chakra two blessings in one two blessings in one you are becoming increasingly sensitive avoid harsh relationships environments situations and chemicals so maybe you're in a relationship that is toxic or there's someone that just doesn't resonate with you well and that's okay we don't all have to get a you know be friends with everybody. The next two cards are your Archangel cards. So we have Life Review. So I feel that maybe you're just, there's there's something on your mind that is pretty huge because we have, you know, looking at your ideas, choosing wisely, and then we have, t you know, waiting, be patient, and then we have Life Review. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. So what is imbalanced in your life? Is it communication? You not, you know, coming out of your own comfort zone? This is Archangel Jeremiah, um, just so you're aware. And yeah, I think this is self-explanatory from what we've been saying in the reading. And then we have nurture. It's really a time for you to nurture yourself. This is Archangel Gabrielle which is also the messenger angel. So you might get intuitive messages. Pay attention to those butterfly feelings or those gut feelings or those thoughts that randomly come into your mind because that's Archangel Gabrielle speaking to you, communicating with you. Archangel Gabrielle is also the communication angel. So she's working, Archangel Gabrielle is working with you to help you express yourself and communicate. This card also rep represents connecting with your inner child in the month of August. As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now. You have a couple of spiritual homework assignments to do, but these are going to be medicine for you and it's going to be blessings for you in the long run. So don't feel like it's like another thing that you have to do because it's gonna really really um, bless you it's really gonna benefit you then your spirit animal we have here is the spider the spider is so significant and it's also the earth element so we have two earthing elements here root chakra and the spider so really august you have to get grounded get grounded again or constantly recheck with yourself and see if you're feeling grounded but look at the spider. The spider created the spider web to support itself, right? This card also represents creativity. You need to boost your creativity. Your creativity is what is really gonna help you express yourself the best, but also create a life that you are gonna feel really grounded and supported in because there's a lack of stability in your life. There's a lack of stability regarding the, the root chakra card. What are the choices what do you have to do from today moving forward 
in order to support you like this spider in this card. All right, let's get into your last couple cards, your affir money affirmations, and then healing messages and positive message words. So the first one we have is number four, and it says achieving success is my natural birthright. You are meant to succeed and failure should not feel bad to you. Life is supposed to go well for you and when it does not, there's something wrong. But what is wrong is not something that is outside of your control or over which you have no control. What is wrong is within you and you do have control. You are meant to succeed and failure should not feel bad to you. Life is supposed to go well for you and when it does not, there is something wrong. But what is wrong is not something that is, as, that is outside of you, excuse me, over which you have no control. What is wrong is within you and you do have control. And taking control is difficult to do, is not difficult to do once you understand the basics of who you are, the basics of the law of attraction and the value of your personal emotional guidance system. So simply what this card is saying is know that you deserve success, know who you are, know the laws of the universe, like attracts like. If you think positive, positive things are gonna come. You think more positive, each day you're gonna get better and better and more positive things will come. And really, um, your emotional guidance system is to see how you're feeling emotionally throughout the day. If you hear my cat in the background, he's scratching his cat tree. That is what that noise is. Ah, always so much noise in my life. And then we have the law of attraction responds to my vibration, which this is also the number four as well. So number four represents stability and foundation. A belief is nothing more than a chronic pattern of thought and you have the ability if you try even a little bit to begin a new pattern to tell a new story to achieve a different vibration and to change your point of attraction the law of attraction is responding to your vibration and you can easily change your vibrational point of attraction by visualizing the lifestyle you desire and holding your attention upon those images until you begin to feel relief which will indicate that a true vibrational shift has occurred so when you start feeling happy when you do that emotional guidance system check in with yourself do the spiritual homework assignments that will you know bring more hopefully overall happiness to you once you start feeling good then you know something had shifted excuse me my words are not always correct the first card we have here is mentors and role models and the number nine so I feel that with this card, you have to figure out who are your mentors, who do you look up to. With this card, you need to find a mentor, you need to find a spiritual leader, teacher that is going to really resonate with you and you're going to learn from them and you're going to really, they're going to help you heal. So I do feel that in the month of August, this person is going to show up to you in some shape or form and you're going to be like, oh they're really interesting or wow I really like the way they do things that's your instincts that is your gut feeling listen to it and that is the person that you need to that is the person that you need to incorporate in your life whether it's YouTube or Instagram or someone in your physical life like a person you need to communicate with them you need to connect with them and you need to do you know work with them and that's really gonna charge you up and it's gonna recharge you in life whoever this person is and you'll know exactly who they are because they'll come up in the month of August and you're gonna really learn from them in the month of August you're gonna just be really learning and this is just gonna bring you into a new path this is gonna wi widen your path as well because we have 9 plus 1 equals 10 which 1 equals new beginnings in the month of August you're just gonna be really learning and you're gonna be a sponge so make sure that you're writing everything down so that you don't forget incorporating whatever it is that, that you learn into your life. Because you can be learning and learning and learning, but if you don't incorporate in your life, essentially you're still the fool. Then we have clear the path, which is so perfect because we have choose wisely, you know, check your ideas. You're gonna have a miracle come in, in the month of August and I do feel that it's gonna be this role model for you because they're gonna really charge you up. They're really gonna uplift you. And they're gonna you know help you a lot 
and they're really going to help you with communication as well because we have the number two here but really again learning saving money traveling all the things above all these different paths that we have here you really need to clear the path and clear the cobwebs that are distracting you and really not serving you then we have the last card which is take your time and so this goes in favor with this card being patient take your time have that taurus zodiac energy take your time in doing things there's no rush there's no competition if you see people at a certain level of success or a certain place in their life don't compare yourself to others you are where you're meant to be you are where you're supposed to be be patient with yourself be kind to yourself be gentle with yourself take time there's a lot of like time and arrows so arrows represent different paths and then we have all these hands so you're just gonna have a lot of different options right you're gonna have to choose a couple you're not gonna be able to do all of them not at least at this time so choose the ones that you resonate with the most that are gonna fulfill you the most if you picked a crystal you pick fluorite and fluorite is all about communication but as well it's a really good stone to help with emotional balance and we have the color green here so also the green chakra which is the heart chakra and that's really you know opening up to the throat chakra communicating yourself expressing yourself so your spiritual homework is to work on three chakras root throat and heart chakra and really aligning with that do your pro and con list that is your reading i hope that resonated with you august is a busy month for you hit that like button down below if this resonated with you or if you have any insights or want to share something that goes along with this reading i would love to know subscribe to my channel i upload weekly so come on and hang out with me hit that notification bell to keep up with me be kind be gentle to yourself and be kind to others stay gold Namaste, the light in me honors the light in you and I'm gonna head over to pile number three and I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Hello pile number three and welcome to your August 2020 pick a card reading. If you picked a crystal, you pick citrine and we'll talk about that crystal at the end of the reading. I'm so excited for you guys. You have a very beautiful reading for the month of August. I just really love the four cards that we have here. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and you're about to have more of an amazing day after this reading. All right, let's get into it. Get a journal, get a notebook, whatever you got to do to jot all this goodiness down. The first card we have is going to be your foundation card. So that is like the overall message, what's going on. And your foundation card is beautiful. It's a major arcana card and a major arcana card. We have major and minor in the tarot deck. Major arcana cards mean big events, things that are huge, right? Big main events where the minor arcana cards are things that happen on like a weekly basis, let's say. You have light. Number 19, one plus nine equals 10 and then you just put that down into a one in numerology because it goes from zero to nine new beginnings but more than that you have the sun here the light the sun is the most positive card in the entire deck at least in my opinion but it's the most positive happy joyful card in the deck it represents the sun usually typically when people think about the sun they're super happy but this is the light and this represents you this is you you are in alignment you're on the right path you i feel that you are open you are just where you're exactly where you want you are you're in your truth you stepped into the truth of who you are and august is so beautiful i do see for those of you who are single a spiritual kindred spirit soulmate coming your way i definitely feel that i feel positive business adventures coming your way i feel that your heart chakra is just so flourishing it's so open and that's so great because in the past two readings pile number one pile two their heart chakra isn't open so your heart chakra is open and that is really great to hear and really a great to see because it takes a lot of healing work to open up your heart chakra and to just really be in your path you're someone who is authentic you really shine your light where people wonder wow what are they doing in their life 
that makes them so happy and so positive. This is you in the month of August and you are someone who is a leader. You lead the way and people will ask you and tell them what is it that you did. Share with them. Share your knowledge and your creativity and your wisdom. But you're going to have a lot of prosperity in the month of August and abundance in all areas of your life. And really, just if this doesn't resonate with you, pick a different pile. But I... I encourage you to stay to the reading, to the end of the reading, to see if your mind changes because this is who you're supposed to be, this is who you are meant to be, and if you don't feel this right now, something is going to change in the next few days within going into August and or the first week of August. You know, time is an illusion, but it's going to happen in the month of August where things you just feel aligned, you feel tapped into the universe, you just feel alignment body, mind, and spirit overall. I love that card. That's a beautiful card to start with. And then your second card is one of wands, which is spirit in this deck. So you're really, I feel that you're just really feeling spiritually connected overall. You're feeling physically connected and spiritually connected. Like you're connected overall, like all around. You're like just, a, I don't know why I'm thinking of like a cherry pie. Maybe it's because I just went cherry picking, but um, I didn't make a cherry pie. Anyway, but like you're just the full pie, like you're the whole pie. You have everything, all the percentages. I don't know, like my analogy is making sense, if it's making sense, because clearly my sentences are not making sense. But this is passion ignited. And this is just a beautiful card. This is the ace of wands. This means growth, prosperity in your business ventures, in your projects in your career so this is a really great card and this just represents the same person this is you and you're moving full full speed ahead you're sailing you're on a boat sailing away and into the sun so we have the sun again we have this beautiful color golden color a lot of opportunities coming in august creativity your creativity is just expanding and flourishing this is just a positive movement forward for you in the month of august as well this card represents that you're someone who's a musician someone who's a teacher educator into art like it's the arts craftsman you are someone who is gonna really really do well in their career but we have positive movement forward the person is in the boat sailing away towards the sun we have the number eight here eight is a very wise number abundant number it's a prosperity number thinking about your dreams bigger and wider you're tapped in so go big or go home right you've ever heard of that phrase go big or go home it's your time to take your gifts it's time for you to take your treasure and then we have a spiritual union number two of cups which represents relationships. You're gonna have positive relationships overall, whether it's a, a romantic relationship, relationships with your family. You're just gonna have in every area of your life, it's going to be positive. Everything is flowing for you, so do not let any negativity come your way. Be that sun and let those shadows disappear into the light, you know? They'll just run away like little spiders. Now we have spiritual union, right? Which soulmate. I feel in August, you're just really going to connect with a kindred spirit, a soulmate spirit. Your cup is going to be full. What a beautiful, beautiful reading so far. Let's dive deeper, guys. All right. So we have the initiation and protection. Initiation and protection here. Know that you're protected call back your power cut the cords soul retrieval i feel that you're already stepped into your to your light but those of you who are not you have to call back your power and step into the sun step into this energy because there's so much creative energy look in each of the tarot cards there is yellow there's the sun creativity that is you know the sacral chakra work on your sacral chakra weekly in the month of august Listen to me carefully, sacral chakra, I mean solar plexus chakra, not your sacral chakra, excuse me. Your solar plexus chakra, which is your willpower, your strength, stepping into who you are. Work on your solar plexus chakra weekly. Do a chakra medication, medication, meditation, which is like medication for your soul. 
but really step into your soul. Your soul is there connecting with your intuition and know that you're protected. And when you fall out of your power, just call your path, your power, cut the cords. You might be someone who's an empath star seed connecting and, you know, involved with a lot of people and their energies are attaching to you, but your soul is speaking to you, soul retrieval. Your soul is there it's saying, yes, yes, let's do this. The rite of passage, the initiation, crossing the threshold. Maybe you might have some fears regarding this card. The magic is in the, in the future. The magic, not in the future, the magic is right around the corner. I feel that things have been falling away, falling away, and you've been like contemplating how many times am I gonna go through the same pattern or how many times am I gonna go through the same situation? When is the, the rainbow? When is the sun gonna shine? And this is your time in August. I promise you, the cards don't lie. The treasure is right around the corner and you might already be stepping into it. You might already be feeling it. And then you're gonna step into it and then you might be fearing, oh, this is too good to tr be true or maybe I'm not gonna be in this for a long time. So let me appreciate, let me be in gratitude of how I'm feeling today, which yes, do that every day, but stop fearing that something is gonna take your happiness away from you. Stop thinking that things are gonna go back to normal because, or back to how the past was, because it's not. You're a new person. You have new cells generating all the time. You have a new energetic field. You are on a new cycle in your life. You're in a new cycle of your life. Shed that old skin. Completely shed that skin and don't hold on to any of it. All right, let's see your next three angels. We have Oceana, Serena, or Serena, and Teresa, Teresa. Take action in August. It is your time to take action. You're smoothing, smoothing, smoothie. Have some smoothies. You're... <laughs> You're moving so smooth sailing. I cannot speak, guys. Ahead, positivity. It's just gonna be really positive. August, if you take away anything, take away that it's gonna be a positive, happy month for you. Take action, you're in touch with your truth in this situation, and I already said that. And you're, you need to trust your gut. I said that as well. And lovingly assert yourself. Just really be open as she is, this angel or this messenger, looks like she's actually, yeah, an angel. She has the whales as well in the background. Just be open as the open water to so many possibilities, positivity. And we also have a turtle and fishy here. So those are your spirit animals. Slow and steady wings, the wing, wins, wing, wins the race. I am the angel of abundance. We have abundance here again. I told you, you have that number eight. This is the prosperity and abundance. The ace of wands, which is financial security, abundance, the ching ching, the dinero. Dinero, dinero. I'm in a weird mood for you in this pile. I'm just happy because this is such a good energetic pile. You will receive the money that you need. Hey, 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 the ace of wands. God is in charge of how that will happen have faith okay we have teresa teresa time out you've been so busy taking care of everyone else's need but now it's time to take care of yourself which i think is what you're going to be doing because this represents you baby yes in the month of august i'm super hyped for you guys this is a good reading okay let's see your goddesses we got bridget and sedna or sedona sedna some of these, you know, names are complicated to pronounce, at least for me. We have Bridget, don't back down, which is right next to like taking action. Stand up for you, for what you believe is right. You are so creative. You are tapped into the solar plexus. Keep doing the solar plexus meditation to keep you ignited. You have this flame. You have this fire within you. You have this passion within you. These cards don't lie. Look at that. She's holding the fire within your hands. You have healing hands. You have this fiery energy. So use it, tap into it and you know, go full circle, go full speed ahead with this. Do not back down. And this is a Celtic goddess as well. Cause we have the, you know, the symbol Celtic 
symbol behind there. Then we have infinite supply. Abundance is so coming your way. You are supplied for today and all of tomorrow's. We have whales here again. The ocean, go to the ocean to really connect with your soul. That's how you connect with your soul is going to the ocean. Whales, speaking your own song. That's what the whales represent, speaking your own song. You have all this abundance coming to you. I love this reading. This is a beautiful reading. Let's keep going. All right, we have your Archangels next. We have Archangel Kamel, which is career transition, which I don't doubt because we have the Ace of Wands here. You know, you're just full speed of head in every, every aspect of your life. Your life purpose is triggering a blessing career change. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your intuition because your soul is trying to tell you, it's trying to let you, it's trying to bless you with this beautiful career opportunity, this career change. Then we have peace, which is so beautiful. And she's holding a dove, which represents love. So you're just gonna have a peaceful relationship. If you're in a relationship, if you're looking, you know, your soulmate's coming and it's gonna be a peaceful one. You have Archangel Kamel again, the same Archangel, so work with that Archangel. Peace comes from remembering that only love is real. Only love is real. Love surrounds you everywhere. You probably think I'm so annoying right now. Spirit animal, tarantula, which is a fire element. Come on guys, can't make this up. Fire, fire, fire. You might be a fire sign. Leo, Sag, or an Aries, or it's within your birth chart. Tap into that energy. And if you're not one of those zodiacs, tap into one of the fire signs energy. Just really tap into, you know, like a Leo. What is their sign? A lion. So, you know, put that symbol or their actual, like the actual symbols of each sign. Aries is the ram. Sagittarius is the bow and arrow moving forward. Put those symbols around you to represent that. Write those symbols down, however you gotta do it. You know, you're creative enough to be, to figure it out. But the tarantula represents, you know, spiders represents our dharma, uh, you know, like our purpose in our life, our life purpose. So this tarantula is speaking to you as well, saying that your soul is trying to speak with you. So there is a distraction in your life that you're letting distract you to go into your full purpose and you need to stop doing it. It's a bad habit. You know what the habit is, so cut it out. All right, let's get into your money affirmations. We have number two here, which represents partnership. Woo -woo. I will tell my story as I want it to be. If you let your dominant intention be to revise and improve the context of the story, you will tell every day of your life. It is our absolute promise to you that your life will become the ever improving story for by the powerful law of attraction, the essence of what that which is like unto itself is drawn and it must be. Then we have, I could give my attention to the positive aspects. Things are coming into, ex into your experience in response to your, your vibration. Your vibration is offered because of the thoughts you are thinking and you can tell by the way you feel what kind of thoughts you are thinking. Find good feeling thoughts and good feeling manifestations must follow. Make a decision to look for the best feeling aspects of whatever you must give your attention to. And otherwise, look only for the good feeling things to give your attention to. And your life will become one of increasingly good feeling aspects. Just pay attention to the good feelings. If pe someone's bothering you, pissing you off, let it go, drop it. Cause everybody is our mirror reflection, right? So if you're happy, you're gonna attract happy people. If you don't attract happy people, it's something that you need to work on, vice versa. Here are your healing messages for your reading. So be flexible, <laughs> be flexible. In the month of August, be flexible, be flowing. You have all this, openness, all this creative energy, all this alignment, be flexible. If th something changes, know that it was meant to be. If something gets canceled, know that it's meant to be. In the month of August, you're gonna be really, really, really stable and in your foundation. So just be flexible, do some yoga. Okay, the next card, guys, you're having an amazing month in the month of August. Accept the gifts 
of the universe. You might have been worried about your responsibilities, your bills and stuff, but abundance is coming your way. We have the cornucopia here of fruit. We have the rainbow, the pot of gold. Abundance is coming your way. You are growing, you are flying high in the month of August, amen. Amen, namaste. Decide, in the month of August, you are gonna have a decision to make and maybe this is with a career transition. And I'm gonna say, with the beautiful results of the card, I'm gonna say that you need to say yes, my friend. This is so beautiful. Maybe this is a decision with a partner because we have the number two here. Nine plus two equals to two when you add it all up. Um, so yes, maybe uh, you're gonna have some path that you have to choose with your relationship or career transition. Maybe you have to travel, move somewhere. You're gonna have to make a decision in the month of August. And as you see, it's gonna bring you lots of abundance. Exercise your vibes. I just said, you know, do some yoga. Do some exercise to release stagnant energy to help you stay in alignment with yourself. Guys, this is beautiful. This is what's gonna help you be union, come union with yourself. That is your reading. That is a very strong, positive, beautiful reading. And then we also have the golden energy in this Archangel Camille uh, card as well. So solar plexus is strong. That is your spiritual homework, is to simply work on your solar plexus chakra and keep moving forward. You're, ooh, I just hit my funny, <laughs> bone and it tingled Woo! that's what i'm feeling for you guys you're just gonna have a lot of energy in the month of august everything that happens in the reading confirms the reading resonates and is involved in the reading you have this beautiful crystal citrine which is the color of solar plexus it resonates with the solar plexus chakra it resonates with creativity it resonates with finance and abundance Hold up, I'm telling you, your spiritual homework for the every every day of the month of August. Have citrine around your nightstand, have citrine in your pocket, order citrine. If you do not have citrine, I'll leave citrine links down below. But your best bet, if you don't have like spiritual stores that you could go to, that would be your first step to go to. Your best second bet is to go on Etsy and just find what resonates with you. It's a great way to listen to your gut feeling and get a citrine crystal raw form is really awesome a citrine necklace maybe to keep on you every day so that you don't have to hold a crystal just in case you don't have pockets on but yes it's a beautiful 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 reading that you have here that is your reading i hope it resonated with you also can we not like i have something over the rainbow hawaii shirt on which is beautiful positive and luck so that reflects on your reading as well hit that like button if this resonated with you affirm it let me know down below say i affirm this reading let me know what's coming your way subscribe to my channel i upload weekly hit that notification bell to keep up with me namaste the light in me honors the light in you i'm gonna head over to pile number four stay gold tap into that creativity my friends I love you guys. Be kind, be gentle to yourself and others, and I'll see you guys in my next reading. Bye. Hello, pile number four, and welcome to your August 2020 pick a card reading. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. If you picked a crystal, you picked amethyst, and it is going to go right there, and we'll talk about it at the end. So let's dive right into your reading. You have two major arcana cards so far, and you also have two pentacle cards. So I already see that in the month of August, you are going to have to make some sort of decision, some sort of choice. Uh, you are, are gonna need to start taking action. I definitely see this for the month of August and it's gonna be the first half of August. And some this decision, this choice, or this action that you're gonna take is really gonna help wrap up what is going to come to you, which is reward. You have a lot of material and re material harvest and reward 
coming your way at the end of the month of August. And I feel this is because you've been doing such hard work. You've been doing such hard work and it's going to really, really show. Okay, the first two cards we have are Major Arcana cards, which means major events that will be happening to you. And we have the authority figure. So this represents a father figure. So this could represent a father figure or someone of wise authority. So there is going to be someone of a leader or a male form that is going to be representing and that is going to show to you in the month of August. And this person is going to have leadership skills. This also represents that you are going to need to incorporate those leadership skills from this male figure in your life. This also represents the number four, which is stability and foundation. And number four has been showing up a lot in each pile. So it's coming in strong. The month of August is really going to wrap things up for a lot of people it's going to bring a lot of miraculous miracles and blessings i also feel this ties into pile number three so if you have the time and if this really resonated with you i would check into pile number three because i feel that they connect with this i feel that pile connects with this reading really strong but i do feel things are going to come to full circle for you in the month of August. And I also feel that you might be stubborn in wanting certain things to change, but there is some sort of change that needs to happen in the month of August. And this might have to do with anything that has to do with a financial situation, money, but know that abundance is really strong for you in the month of August. Reward celebration is strong for you in the month of August. The second card that we have is 20 number 20 truth represents the judgment card in the tarot deck so when i see authority and judgment i feel that there's going to be some sort of justice that comes your way in the month of august something along the way maybe you've been harsh and judgmental towards yourself or this figure here has been judgmental or has a very strong energy that is hard for you to work with. But since we have the number two, you're gonna just really need to communicate with this person. And it might not be male, but I do feel this strong male energy. And especially since it is the first card, uh, you might be someone who is more male domi dominant. You might be someone who is more male dominant. You might be someone who has more of a male personality and what I mean by that is that you might have more of a dominant energy and that can represent you right versus somebody else but we have the truth card here and I feel that in the month of August it's gonna be a wake-up call for you and it's gonna be a time that you spiritually awake and that you really come into consciousness like you become in present you're going to be in alignment with your truth, right? Because that's what this card is representing. I feel that is more of a male energy versus like a female energy, which could be more like of a nurturing, fertility, emotional energy. And these two energy, these two cards, the energy around them, they're really just going to tie in together. This also represents to step into more of a male type energy to really open up your spiritually, like really have the wake up call that you need. You might be a male watching this. So vice versa, if you're a male, tap into the female energy. But really, I feel that this is somebody that represents in your life. It's a general reading. It can mean different things for different people. But the next two cards we have is two pentacle cards, three and nine, which they're both odd numbers. And I don't typically like, like we have, two even numbers and then two odd numbers and i feel that in the month of august this is really just going to balance you out you're just going to have balance in the month of august and then we have the three of recognition and reward there's going to be some sort of celebration celebration in the month of august and then we have material harvest reaping the rewards your hard work is paying off so recognize that no you deserve the rewards accept the rewards be open for the rewards and it's just going to be a really great time for you so be open in the month of august and know that abundance is coming your way i also feel in the month of august you need to work on your root chakra 
because of the color coordination, we have two blacks and two red cards, which the reds represent the root chakra and blacks also represents the root, you know, grounding and, and all of that. So get grounded. That is your homework and tapping into your root chakra. Let's dive deeper into your reading. Woo! We have transformation and inner temple. So transformation is right next to authority and truth on this side. So I do feel with the wake up call, you're just going to have a transformation, but also your emotions are going to be stabilized. And this is what this authority uh, card represents too, because it doesn't always represent what the card meaning means, right? It means whatever I intuitively feel as well, what I see. And I see that you're just going to have a lot of these opportunities. Again, this ties into these as well with the spiritual award reward. You're going to get a spiritual reward on top of finance a financial reward as well but this is really going to transform you you're going to really stabilize your emotions you're going to know how to check your emotions you're going to know where you stand i just feel that you're just going to be very elegant and have this really different kind of energy in the month of august and you're going to really what's the word i'm looking for you're going to really enjoy this new version of yourself and it says things are changing at a cellular level. Like you're literally changing at a deep level and it's really deeply healing for you. Goes along, goes along with the judgment card, you know, having that wake up call, cosmic consciousness. Your energy is completely changing. Your being is changing. Your cells are changing. So really ground yourself and do the root chakra because people might not be ready for this type of change. But it's so essential for your spiritual, your soul contract, your spiritual destiny. And I feel that you are someone who is a star seed. I feel that really strongly. And this transformation, I feel in your past life that you, you were an Egyptian or you have Egyptian knowledge. Like that is emanating in your life and it might represent in your life now in the present moment. You just have this sort of energy about you that is so intriguing and people you'll start to notice that people stare at you and you're like why are they staring at me it's because you have this elegant and charismatic energy towards you so really embrace this new energy and then we have inner temple which is devoting you have a strong devotion you are someone who's a hard worker because it shows in the cards you are really devoted to your life and it says tune into the portal of your heart. So go into your heart chakra as well, along with your root chakra, and just really tune in with yourself. Meditate, doing, you know, singing bowls, yoga, different things like that. Mantras, doing different mantras that are really gonna help you tap into your inner temple. I just feel like you're just a very high vibration star seed, and you're a very cosmic, like you're just a cosmic being. And I see the two, you know, portals of the cosmos here. You're just someone who is really a starseed. You are have like an alien energy to you. Like it's different. And that's why people love you. That's why people gravitate towards you. Because you have this energy to your, towards you. And people are just so intrigued by it. So connect with your inner child as well with that card. All right, let's see your three angel cards. We have Grace and Antoinette, Crystal and Marlena. So Grace and Antoinette is all about helping, like they're going to help heal whatever situation that needs to be healing and to help heal this situation, see the other person's point of view. So this is right under this authority figure, this male figure, father figure. You need to have more compassion in the month of August. Work on compassion, that's part of your spiritual homework, being compassionate towards yourself and others, and seeing this other person's point of view, because I feel with the judgment card, with the truth card, there might be some resistance, there might be some stubbornness, and you just have to be more open and more compassionate and know that this person is a mirror for you. Then we have the angel crystal who says, have faith and hope because there's something positive and new on the horizon that you cannot see. That includes the financial abundance coming towards the end of the month of August. Yes, 
affirm that. Comment down below, I affirm this reading. Then we have Merlina. So she says you are confused and indecisive because you do not have enough information. So do your research or seek expert advice before making a decision. So this goes along with this card. All three of these cards actually intertwine with each other. They interconnect. But we have a lot of... There's a decision that you have to make in the month of August and when you you just need to get grounded in your root chakra because along with this transformation can come a lot of different things, right? You're changing, you're shedding old skin. So you just need to find that balance like I said in the beginning and then there's a yin and yang here. Finding that balance and then there's a butterfly in here. Transformation. There's so much going on as you can see a lot of things are changing so that's where that confusion comes in so you just need to get grounded and get into an alignment and get grounded as much as you can and crystals there's a this bunny's holding a crystal connect with your crystals connect with amethyst amethyst is a spiritual stone right really high vibrating a lot of people know about uh, about amethyst and that's going to be your stone for the month of august but really i feel you also need to align with your chakras at least once a week do a full chakra meditation because she has all the chakras visualized all the wheels you need to get those all aligned to stay in alignment let's look at your two goddess cards go outside and blossoming we have cordelia she's the outside goddess you have been indoors for too long go outside and get some fresh air and that's gonna help you and i see two crescent moons in here so work with new moon intentions and the next new moon that is in the month of august subscribe to my channel i do you know moon forecast every month for the new and full moon then we have our arakura and she also is the angel of blossoming so you're just blossoming into this it's not even a new phase it's not a new cycle it's like a completely new being you it's bigger than a phase like it's like karma and your dharma like it's just it's just bigger just take my word for it you are just getting started so have patience with yourself in the process and do not give up and i get this similar authority energy with this goddess all right let's keep going let's find out your archangels we have archangel gabrielle and archangel jeremiah so leadership like i said you're a leader you have this leadership card within you. Archangel Gabrielle, you're gonna get a message in the month of August. She's the message, Archangel Gabrielle is the messenger angel. It's time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. And then we have overcoming difficulties. Look at that beautiful long feather. You just have this way to you. It's, it's so beautiful. And it says the worst is now behind you and you're surmounting any previous challenges. Beautiful. Let's find out what your spirit animal is for the month of August. We have the deer, which is an earth baby, right? It's an earth uh, animal or a, maybe you're a Capricorn, Taurus or a Virgo or just tap into those energies but we have the deer here which I love the deer to me the deer is also like besides just rainbows deers also I feel aligned with like God's energy spirit energy source and source energy so I just feel like you are connected very into the cosmos you're really connected to source and the universe so tap into that but the deer also represents you know compassion nurturing energy gentle calm energy so in the month of august really tap into that energy calm compassionate nurturing energy be gentle with yourself and with others beautiful beautiful reading and let's dive into your money cards life is always working out for me i like understanding that things are always evolving and while there are many things that could be better where i am it is not really a promise because where i am is constantly changing into something better I like knowing that as I look for the best things around me where I am, the things come, the things I am, those things become more prevalent in my experience. It is fun to know that things are always working out for me and I am, and I as, mm, it is fun to know that things are always working out for me and as I watch for the evidence of that, I see more evidence of that every day. Then it comes not by magic, but by the universal law. Start telling a better feeling story about the things that are important to you. 
Do not write your story like a factual documentary, weighing all the pros and cons of your experience, but instead tell the uplifting, fan fanciful, magical story of the wonderful of your own life and watch what happens. It will feel like magic as your life begins to transform right before your eyes, but it is not by magic, it is by the law of the universe, the power, and your deliberate alignment with those laws. The last three cards we have is your healing and positive words and messages. Fake it till you make it. You have fake it till you make it. So maybe you're struggling with having this compassion and gentleness and calm. Retreat back off. Fake it till you make it, you know, like not in like a fake way, but also with, you know, tapping into this new person that you're not too used to being, you know, fake it till you make it until you start getting used to that type of energy. But I just feel like this is also representing a freedom card and uplifting the mask. Then you have you are the boss, which goes along with leadership and authority, authority, knowing that you're the leader. And we have a we have three, three, three here. We have three card here, a three card here and a three card here. So 333 is your, your number for the August, which is about celebration. It's your ascended masters, again, being connected to what you believe in, the source, deities, whether it's Jesus, God, universe, the cosmos, whatever you believe in, you have 333, which is a beautiful, beautiful number to have. So know that you're the boss. And your last card is vibe check. Check your vibes. We have 3333 three, three, three again. Number three is your number for the month of August, but vibe checked, really magnetizing and creating your reality and knowing your thoughts, things, and actions all are what create your reality. So know that and really check yourself before you wreck yourself. That is your beautiful, beautiful reading. That is your spiritual homework. I already said it, I'm not gonna repeat it this time, but your crystal also is to have the amethyst crystal, this is so beautiful to have for psychic protection, for your dreams, and just in life in general. And there's so many different benefits of amethyst. That's just a few. But also, it's a really great spiritual stone to help you in your spiritual journey. That is your reading. Please hit that like button if it resonated with you. Let me know down below what resonated with you, insights, whatever you have to say for the month of August that correlates with the reading. Subscribe to my channel. I upload weekly. Come hang out with me. Hit that notification bell wherever it is on the screen to keep up with me. Namaste. The light in me on is the light in you. And I'll see you guys in my next reading. Remember, be kind to yourself and to others. Stay gold. And I'll see you guys soon.